There was, was there ever any criticism of the things that, that you, do, you did in the White House in these years? Never. No, the most incredible interest. And then the tours would start going. And every night he'd come home saying, we had more people today. This would be after you'd found the Monroe Pier table or something. Then the Eisenhowers had him their first two years. <laughs> And oftentimes he, and then the guidebook was selling out, he'd always be teasing McNally about it. So uh, he was just so proud. I was so happy that I had, could do something that made him proud of me. Because I'll tell you one wonderful thing about him. I was really, I was never any different once I was in the White House than I was before. But the press made you different. Suddenly everything that had been a liability before, your hair, that you spoke French, that you didn't just adore to campaign and you didn't bake bread with flour up to your arms. You know, everyone thought I was a snob and hated politics. Well, Jack never um, made me feel that I was a liability to him, but I was. And then I was having a baby and couldn't campaign. Then when we got in the White House, all the things that I'd always done suddenly became wonderful. Because anything the First Lady does that's different, everyone sees us on. And I was so happy for Jack, especially is it now that it was only uh, three years together, that he could be proud of me then. Because, you know, it made him so happy. It made me so happy. So those were our happiest years. <laughs>